I love you. I love you so much. I'm not going anywhere. I was the anxious attachment in that situation and the other individual was avoidant. Piccolo Simone e zia Zo. Grande. <laughs> amazing day it is so nice outside today look at that the lake is starting to melt well actually it's melted a lot considering where it was this weekend and this past week anyways I thought it would be a perfect time to vlog because I'm feeling feeling those good sunshine vibes to be honest though it's been a bit of a week it's Thursday today but I have felt quite anxious since Monday Ooh, I've got like a shadow happening <laughs> um anyways yeah I, I don't know there's a few different factors as to what I think like led me to feeling anxious but I really didn't have any specific reason the light is so bright let me see here. I'm actually gonna film a video on Sudanga so I'm gonna adjust this light but yeah I don't know there was like a few different factors I feel like that kind of led to me feeling a little anxious this week but like I said, nothing triggered me into this anxiety, which has me feeling like it's basically like an energy up level type of thing based on all the work that I've been doing, like personal work that I've been doing, like Reiki healing, as you guys know, and uh, you know, with my big exciting move coming up. <laughs> so I think there were a lot of different factors. But uh, yeah, I actually am just about to film a video on Sananga. So I finished my Sananga Dieta. That was a 21-day dieta. And by the time you guys are watching this vlog, that video will already be up. So I will be sure to link it below if you are curious. Sananga is a plant medicine that you put into your eyes. And yeah, I did 21 days of it. So all the details will be linked below. <laughs> And just like that, I'm about to film my Sananga video, you guys. So you got to see a little behind the scenes. You guys, look at how beautiful it is outside. Also, I have my bananas here ripening. <laughs> I figure that if they got the sunlight, maybe they would ripen faster. I don't know, but I really can't wait for them all to ripen up. So, yeah. I finished the Sananga Dieta video and it took me a couple like, hey friends, are we here to get into it because I haven't filmed a sit down video in a little while. And each time I come back to it, it's kind of like, oh, you have to get the groove again. But then once I'm chatting, it's good. I trust myself and all that. Also probably has something to do with like this weird anxiety that's kind of been hanging out for the first part of the week um, it's still like here a little bit and like I said I think there's a few different factors that have contributed to it so I just wanted to reflect some of that back to you because some of you might be going through the same thing because I know that my friends are too also navigating this interesting period of time so it is the end of February uh, and presently in Toronto like it's been very very cold the past couple of weeks the lake froze over as you guys saw or may have seen on my Instagram and so it's it's difficult to go outside when it's really that cold and there's the wind chill and it feels like negative 20 and all that stuff and we've just been in a lockdown now for over three months I think something like three months so basically I've just been to the grocery store in like three months and I think that that starts to weigh on you and there's always this period in time i remember even living in toronto these past two years and previously like prior to moving to rome like i've always escaped at some point in the winter to a place more warm and sunny so i have something to like look forward to and i haven't had that this year now of course i'm moving somewhere so that kind of you know shifts things and changes things but there's this weird feeling you get like 
you can't remember what it feels like to go outside and be warm. And I promise myself that I will not let this happen to me again <laughs> because I'm such a being of the sun and being of warmth and I just want to be outside doing things but I can't because there's nowhere to go and because everything's closed and like well, you can only walk around or be outside for so long because it is so cold but today we're lucky because it's sunny it hasn't really been sunny in, in quite some time now so that contributed to my anxiety I think and Another thing is that I was on reading week last week for school and now I'm back at school and I've really uh, solidified my decision to move and put things in place. I handed in my notice for my lease agreement. I've decided to sell everything in my condo, which I'll update you guys more on later. But I've just felt so much momentum on that part of my life that kind of coming back to school when I know that I'm leaving has felt a bit difficult. So that's also been a lot because school takes up a lot of time in my day and there's certain parts of it which just haven't felt enjoyable anymore because there's only so much you can do on Zoom and I feel capped in that way. I feel capped on Zoom and I feel like I want to be out in the world doing things and like creating a difference and it's kind of hard. Um, it's just hard to be boxed up here a little bit. And another reason too, which I think I've more so come to realize in the last day or so, is that I started to read the book Attached. So the the book on attachment styles, which if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it, listening to it. I've just been seeing it pop up all over social media lately and it's been on the list, but I do notice that I did have some kind of subconscious resistance to it because I was like, oh, I don't wanna think about relationships right now. I don't wanna, I don't want to go to that place right now. I just want to focus on me and healing me and getting me better. But of course, this is naturally part of that journey. So I finally decided to like listen to Attach. So that's the newest audio book that I'm listening to. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, very eye-opening and has connected a lot of dots for me that has allowed me to heal the things that perhaps I didn't really want to look at or have been resistant to looking at. And... That is, sorry to check the time because I have to hop on the call in like five minutes. Um, yeah, basically I'm not done the book yet. I'm maybe like a third or halfway through almost. And I recognize that these different traits of either being uh, anxious attachment or avoidant attachment, those of you who may not be familiar. So this, these are attachment styles that people uh, have in relationships. There is uh, anxious attachment, avoided attachment, um, or, or secure. And from reading this book, it was just like I could see the previous situationship, we'll call it, that I was in for the majority of my time being here in Toronto for what it was. And I was the anxious attachment in that situation and the other individual was avoidant. It's literally like a textbook example but I was so stuck in it. I was so stuck in it and like, I don't wanna say like it messed me up, but, but because it was all a learning opportunity, but I didn't know that that side of me existed or I didn't know that those parts of me were there until this relationship. And I recognize in the past I've been avoidant of romantic relationships because I just have been focused on my own stuff, right? Moving to Rome and being in Rome and I didn't really prioritize like relationships or like being in a relationship. I just kind of avoided that and just did my own thing and just had fun being Zoe and getting to know Zoe and it's all perfect for what it was. But I see in the ways in which I avoided romantic relationships. So last year, um, and the year before when I got myself into this situationship and I fell into these like triggers of the attachment styles and that part of my mind, it was like I had to, I, I met a whole new side of myself that I didn't know existed and it was just consistent triggering that happened and it was a lot and I, I feel like I've put that to rest, like I, I confidently feel like I'm over this individual, I see it for what it was, I recognize the trauma bonding, I recognize everything for what it is, but reading this book brings up 
the the emotions again. I honestly like sometimes I'm I'm reading it and I'm I'm laughing because it's so on point for where I was at. And you know, other times it's just like it hits different, right? It hits when you were that person, but it also brings a lot of clarity and validation to my experience for what it was. So very powerful read. And I want to know any of you out there who have, who read it, like what did you think of it? Did it grant you a lot of clarity like it's granted me? But um, yeah, I think also when you're naturally in a reflective period of time and you're like, you're tying up any loose ends or making connections to your past and you're reading something or listening to something cathartic, like bringing up and visiting those emotions, um, I think that's why there's like a bit of anxiety here right now. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I have to hop on this call, so we'll talk in a bit. The seagulls have been out on the ice all day. They'll fly around and leave for a while, and they come back. And just like, all collectively hang out. Hey friends, it's the next day now. I'm just about to cut up some ripe bananas to put them into the freezer like I do for my smoothies, acai bowls. And uh, yeah, I wanted to update you. So today, Lo is coming over to drop off her dog, Simon. I'm gonna be a dog mom for the weekend, which I'm so excited about. So I'm gonna chop up these bananas and I'm tidying up my house a little bit just so everything is like perfect for when he comes over, nothing's on the ground, everything like that, because he's still a puppy. So we're gonna have some puppy time in this vlog. Look who's here. My little nephew, Simone. Say hello, amor. <laughs> so Lo just left and Simon's here. She helped me film a apartment tour where I let you guys know like how much I pay and like just kind of captured Hotel Cali for what it is and its completion because I'm moving soon and I just wanted to have the memory, right? Because I spent so much time and energy creating a space that was so unique to me. So yeah, I feel really grateful for this space and like everything was so intentional just about this, impart this apartment in general. And yeah, I'm just so, just feeling really grateful for it. I'm gonna start taking everything apart and selling it. So by the way, any of you out there who live in Toronto and who like any of my furniture, I'm selling it like everything must go in the next two months. So hit me up, um, send me an email if like you want my couch or my circle mirrors or anything like that or the salt lamp. Um, and as soon as I do like decide to fully sell everything and list things, I'm probably gonna list them on Kijiji and like Facebook Marketplace. So be sure to follow me along on Instagram because then I'll be posting when I'm getting rid of stuff. And uh, yeah. Simone, are we gonna have fun this weekend? Amor, are we gonna have lots of fun? Look at your abundance of things that you have. Oh. So cute. Wow, you guys, check out the ice. Wow. Simone, what do we think of this? Oh. We like it inside, right? We like it where it's warm and more, right? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to go for a walk amore? You want to go for a walk amore? Right. Little Simone, piccolo Simone e zia zo. Grande. <laughs> Good morning, amores. I hope you're having a great day. It is the next day now, it is Saturday. And I'm just hanging out with Simone, my little dog nephew. I got a face mask on. I'm currently wearing the Herbivore Blue Tansy face mask. Anyways, I am just about to get changed and I wanted to show you guys. Simone, I'm sorry, Mario, you're not allowed in my room. No. <laughs> I'm keeping Simon out of my room because I am like a little bit allergic to him and I just my room I have things that he can like jump at so like my essential oils and some lavender there and just some plants and I just would rather Not risk it, you know not risk him getting into anything that he's not supposed to get into But I'm just about to get changed like I said and I'm gonna change into a new outfit that I actually just received from the team at Lavender so thank you so much um, they gifted me 
this uh, nice little sweatsuit piece. I'm going to show you it. All right. I just love the attention to detail, as you guys know, on packaging. And they were so kind to send me this beautiful message. Thank you, Lavender. And this is the Artist of Life sweatsuit. So it's like a sweatshirt and shorts. And this is what I feel like wearing today because to be honest with you guys, it's already 12 noon. I took Simon out for a big long walk this morning for about an hour. I got a coffee and since then I've just been working on my computer. And that's how I'm going to be spending the rest of this Saturday is mostly working. So this looks like the perfect outfit to wear. I really love how it ties up at the bottom here. All right, so here it is guys. It's so comfy. Thank you so much to Aileen and the team at Lavender. Still have my face mask on, by the way. I really love this one. I'll link it below. But uh, yeah, this is so comfy, so cozy, perfect for just a casual Saturday workday from home that I'm having, work from home. But like, who isn't working from home these days? <laughs> but uh, yeah, love it. So I'm just hanging out with Simone, and it's been, it's been fun having a dog for the last 24 hours, I guess, and yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of funny because before I had planned out this whole upcoming move and everything, I had put in an application to get a rescue dog at the end of 2020. And I was, you know, I was manifesting it and I really felt like I did everything that I could to create this dog in my life. And Simone, no, ouch, ouch. He's still a puppy, so he tends to get some bitey sometimes. No, ouch. Um, and <laughs> ouch, and I was a little bit upset when I didn't get the the dog, but I see now why, because I was going to make this big move in my life that was coming up in the timeline and I didn't know it. So any of you out there who tend to get disappointed, like I feel like, I just want to say, rejection is always redirection in any form. Like me, for example, getting rejected from being a dog mom or um, adopting this dog. It's just a redirection in the path, right? And Simone, ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> and I see now that uh, it's actually not the right time for me to have a dog. <laughs> as much as I love having this little amore for the weekend, it's really showed me how much like I, I personally value my freedom and the freedom to like up and leave, right? To travel and uh, do all of those things. So it's been interesting, but I do really love having him, especially because I had this feeling of anxiety kind of like looming or hanging out for the week. And having Simon here, like animals just help you bring you back to the present moment. Ouch! Especially when they're biting your hand. <laughs> and um, bring you back to the present moment, like going out for walks with him. Like this morning we went out for like an hour, like I said, and that was really nice, like just really nice to have a little companion more, even though you like to gnaw on my hands. I love you, I love you so much, I'm not going anywhere. So I also wanted to give you guys an update. So I'm in this kind of theme right now where I am really building a powerful foundation for my business, like re redoing things like in a smarter way, I guess you could say, like niching down content and organizing things at my for my business on a foundational level, like hiring a couple more people. So there's a lot of shifts and changes going on right now and I wanted to update you guys that I am actually, uh, I've actually launched additional channels. So I have the Zoe Ariel main channel and now I'm going to be uh, publishing my vlogs only on a vlog channel. And so if you guys do like this content, like day-to-day -day life, the channel is Zoe Ariel Lifestyle and I'm gonna be like leaving that down below because I really love vlogging. I truly do. I love sharing my life with you. I think it's the funnest part of YouTube for me. I, I just like love updating you and like reading your comments and sharing that day-to-day -day life with you. I've really enjoyed it the past couple months, but I recognize that uh, people follow my channel from all these different spaces. So they might follow me from travel, from ouch, from life in Italy, digital nomad stuff. So I'm trying to organize, ouch. <laughs> organize myself um, a little bit better now. So if you if you like following along on my day-to-day -day life and are interested in following uh, my day-to-day -day life over the next two months, especially as I make this grand move in my life, I'm gonna be selling everything, doing all of that and decluttering and organizing and sharing life on this 
day-to-day -day basis I'm moving quite fast right like the decision is made and I'm gonna be out of here within two months so yeah I would love to share that journey with you but I'm I've decided now to just solely do it on a vlog channel so Zoe Ariel lifestyle is where this will be and yeah you can expect weekly vlogs so vlogs on a weekly basis and I love that accountability for myself too and just keeping up to date with you guys so I'm having a vlog channel and then also Zoe Ariel travel so the place that I'm moving I can't wait to move to this place and explore this place and share more of this place with all of you guys so if you're here following me and like love travel and that part Zoe Ariel travel channel will be where you can find content on a daily basis from now until leading up to the move because I'm just moving over some of my travel videos to that channel just to keep everything organized and create playlists and resources for people who are traveling to different places in Canada or in Italy or Mexico places that I've been so so we are your old travel ouch Simone no ouch <laughs> oh, I love him so much <laughs> like he's a baby puppy baby puppy amor we don't eat we don't eat the hand that feeds <laughs> ouch ouch um so yeah Zoe Ariel travel is going to be travel channel from now there's gonna be I'm gonna be posting videos on a regular basis so if you want to watch how my journey unfolded from you know first starting my YouTube channel and exploring the city of Toronto to like going uh, moving to Italy and and exploring more of Europe then that content's going to be uploaded there so it might be fun to follow along and watch as I transformed through the last five years and then of course as soon as I move you'll be the first to know on that channel the country that I'm moving to and then I'll be sharing more travel style content from different places from that within that place so things are shifting and changing like I said so on this channel the main channel you can expect the self-improvement spirituality content as per usual but I'm going to be slowly um, niching things over to these additional channels and I would love it if you guys followed along and supported me on that journey <laughs> ah, I would love that <laughs> Amore <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to my channel today, hanging out with me and Simone and hearing my life updates and be sure to hit subscribe on the other two channels that will be linked below and I can't wait to share more with you. Bye!